So the next thing I'm going to do is these. Uh, these are these are going to be blue, as I've said, and um, I'll just give them a quick highlight so I can actually see what I'm painting. Um, so I'll get on and see how we crack on with them. As you remember, I said I was painting these blue. Uh, I'm starting to try and get a base colour for them, which is because I've never painted anything blue with a blue. Well, I have a lot of blue flesh. Uh, well, not for the effect that I want anyway. Uh, started off with a Prussian blue shade, which I thought was too dark. You can see. Um, it's a bit too dark, so we'll discount that one. I thought, hmm, what about uh, dark blue, which is blue blue, but um, I think that's a bit too blue. Um, it looks a bit weird. So, but in the end, I've gone with Prussian blue because I know what Prussian blue looks like when it's uh, done. So, I'm in Prussian blue, so I'm using um, Foundry Prussian blue and. Uh, it's going to look alright, I think, because bear in mind that there's, it's not going to be that colour all over. It's going to be a lot lighter than that, but it's a nice dark base to start from. So, yeah, so I'll get them all painted up like that then. I'll probably take the rest of the session. Right. So, the end of another day in the office. And uh, I finally settled on my base coat, as I said before, of uh, Prussian blue, foundry Prussian blue. She gave a nice sort of blue over the black, uh, plenty of depth. Uh, I then went over a very, with it with a very, very uh, sort of like wet, heavy dry brushing of um, Andrea Blue. Yeah, just to really give it some contrast. And over that, a sort of a more lighter dry brushing with uh, Azure. And then after that, sort of directional downward uh, sky blue. That will do for now. Um, I think they've turned out okay. Um, they look uh, sort of believable. Um, what the next stage is, is just blocking out you know, like the brown for the fur and then the leather work and uh, metal work on them. Um, once I've done that I'll then start with the washes. So I will be doing a blue um, sort of unifying wash over the flesh and then probably a black brown wash over everything else and then build it up from there. So that's where I am and uh, yeah I suppose I'll answer today's question. Right in today's question, uh, it says if you could own any weapon, armor, piece of gear from any fictional universe, excluding blah de blah de blah, uh, what would you want and how do you use it? Show it off. Well, I'd have a small. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, a couple of uh, updates ago, we talked about culture. Well, I'd want something from the culture, particularly something like a contact ship. Um, contact contacts are like a. Uh, an explorer wing of the culture and they have these very small ships uh, the ships are just as uh, capable as the big uh, you know the big ships um, there's nothing small in their intelligence or their sort of capability it's just that they prefer to be in a little small capsule rather than a massive planet sized thing or whatever so that's what I want the reason would be because you could go off all over the universe and explore uh, not just this galaxy but other galaxies, other times, do all sorts of stuff, it would be brilliant. Uh, go and see things that nobody else on this planet has ever seen, it would be fantastic. Anyway, there you go, that's what I want. Plus, it could make whatever food you wanted, whatever toys you wanted, um, just do anything that you imagined really, because uh, that's what culture ships can do, that's why the culture is so fascinating. So, um, anyway, there you go. That's what I want. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next update. Bye.